Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to be talking about, about um, what happens before you get your dentures. Um, after you get them, some pros and cons and some tips. So, before you get your dentures, well before I got my dentures, this is just my experience. So, before I got my dentures, it was, I think, eight weeks before? No, 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 no. It was like three months. I had my first appointment and then I got my other, I got my dentures three months after my first appointment. But obviously it depends on how often you pay, how much you pay, because obviously you have to have everything paid by the time you get your dentures. So I was trying to do, like pay up my bills every time I had an appointment. So I tried to book an appointment every two weeks so that it'd be easier for me to pay because that's when I get paid. Um, Appointment wise, that was like, I don't know, eight appointments between my first checkup and then when I eventually got the dentures. Um, so, yeah, eight appointments. So, yeah, um, it's not too many appointments. It obviously depends on how many teeth you, you need out and everything like, everything like that, obviously. Um, cost wise, in the UK, is, in the UK, I know that it's a lot cheaper because of the NHS. Um, so, they pay so much towards your price and then when it comes to the final price after you pay for them I only paid I think £380 so that's maybe like $500 but I know that in America you pay what $6,000 to $8,000 $8, maybe even more I think that's ridiculous you should get help like towards that I mean you get help towards medication and your glasses so why would you not get help towards your dentures that's just so stupid to me why it's, it's insane. And after you get them, um, well, I got immediate dentures, so I got them straight away, but some people won't get them straight away. Um, but I got mine the day that my, my final set of teeth come out, um, but some people won't, and they'll have to wait like maybe three months, or maybe a bit less than that, until their gums heal. But my dentist said she just didn't want to leave me without any teeth, so that's how I ended up with my dentures that day. Thank God, I couldn't imagine walking around work with no teeth trying to talk to the customers. Mr. Gummy James Garrett. <laughs> um, well, I have a review and I think on the 5th of July, so she's going to look at my gums and then hopefully I'll be getting my permanent set then. Um, but to begin with, it was supposed to be six months, so it can be any time, obviously, between that. It could be even longer for all I know, but that's just what she said. Um, and then I'll have my permanent set then, but obviously these are things that will affect other people when they're getting their dentures. Um, when you get them, you probably won't be able to eat properly for the first couple of days. It, is, it isn't, isn't very good. Um, I had to eat, I don't know, the day I got them, me and my boyfriend went for dinner with his mum, and I had to eat macaroni and cheese because I couldn't eat anything else. It took me a few days to get used to eating anything apart from pasta. Um, about a week after I tried steak, which he shredded so that it was just little bits and I was able to eat them, but everyone will be different again in that case. I mean, you could get your dentures and then like two days later be away eating steak. It just obviously depends how long it takes you to get used to them. Um, another thing that will change is how you talk. When I got my dentures, and obviously you heard it was my first video, I had this really bad lisp. Like, it's still there, but it's nowhere near as bad as what it was when I first got my dentures. Um, but yeah, it, like certain things will be harder to say. I find myself having to stop and start again just so that I can get the words out properly because I can't say them properly. It's really annoying, but it, oh, it's really annoying and it makes me really, it makes me remember that I have dentures. Because I'm at the point now where I don't think about having dentures. I put them in in the morning and then that's them there. I don't even have to think about them. It's great. Um, so next, yeah, so there's obviously some pros and cons depending on your dentures and depending on how many teeth you get and how big your dentures are and how much you get. It's going to be different for everyone, like I've said that already twice in this video. Um, but pro-wise, your smile, you'll have a nice smile like me, so you can be able to go, hey. You can smile like that, obviously, and you won't have to hide your teeth anymore. I mean, my teeth were disgusting before, and I never smiled for anyone. I never smiled in pictures. I never did anything. Uh, that involved me smiling, so it's just such a relief to be able to smile. Well, like I mentioned before, your speech is going to 
be better than before when like before you get your dentures your speech will change if you hardly have any teeth or your like jaw changes because you've got ground down teeth or broken teeth and um, once you get your dentures you should be able to speak properly and obviously you won't be trying to hide your teeth with your mouth i'm assuming that other people hide their teeth with them as like i tried to do so you'll be able to speak a bit clearer i know that when i talk to you guys i'm quite i'm quite a fast talker so it's probably a bit harder for you to understand Obviously, I don't have that problem here with my friends because they understand how fast I talk. But that's I will, I will improve and it will be a lot better than before. You should be able to speak so much clearer. It's better for everyone and yourself, obviously. Your face shape will shape. Your face shape will change already. Not change already. It will change as well. Um, once you get your, if you get your top and bottom denture, it will fill out your face like here and here because. I hardly had any teeth here at all, like behind these ones at the front, I hardly had any teeth. So my jaw was obviously a bit more in, but because I've got these big ones up here, it fills this out more and then it makes my face come down and you can see like my jawline here, and my jawline, my cheekline, and my, it's just more defined overall, it's better. Now con wise, they can be really uncomfortable when you first get them, it's, it, when I first got mine, it was okay for the first day and then on the second day it started to get sore. After four days I had to go back to the dentist to get them readjusted. And that was me for another, I think, another four or five days. And then I had to go back again and she shaved some off she shaved some uh, of the acrylic off the back and now there's no pain at all. All I can say is though this helps me wear your adhesive underneath your bottom ones could because they're, they're going to be the most sorest, I think. I've not had any pain with my top one, and I've seen that that's like, quite common online, so yeah, just um, just remember that. Um, and yeah, so you may obviously need to get them adjusted, it just depends. Um, if, once they become loose, you can go back to the dentist for a denture reeling. That's Alright as well. Um, I haven't needed it yet. My denture's still quite, like, quite in there when I put it in. That's obviously down to my adhesive as well. Um, but yeah, the other con is your speech. You're gonna have to try and get used to talking again. It's hard. It is hard, but you just have to bear with it. Like it's obviously it's all worth it in the end. So once you're used to it, it'll be fine. Um, and then the other thing is the food you can eat, which I already touched on before. Like I had to eat pasta, so you're going to be stuck in probably soft foods for maybe one week. Some people probably get stuck in them for two weeks, I think it just depends on how well you take to having the dentures in your mouth. So you're talking like mash, uh, minced beef, some pasta, like it's, they're obviously nice things anyway. But yeah, soft foods, fruit, soft fruit like bananas, kiwi, you know, anything that's soft, you'd be fine with that. And then after a week, you can start to build it up to harder things, like now I can sit and eat crisps and I can eat chicken, I can eat, I can eat most things, I mean I've even had steak. Um, the only thing I had problem was biting into burgers but if you, like burgers when they're on a roll or a bun, if you have that trouble, the tip, the thing that I come up with that really helps me is if you turn it upside down so all the salad and stuff is at the bottom of the bun, you can use your, the bottom of your teeth to like bite into it and then use your top teeth to pull away and it's so much easier than eating it the right way around such a bloody godsend when I realised that's what I could do. So yeah, so those are your pros and cons and what to expect before and after you get them. Um, I can give you some tips here. It's, the first one would be to have patience. It's hard. I mean, I've, I cried. I cried after I got them because this is when I was struggling to eat. Um, I cried because I was so upset, I missed my teeth, I missed being able to eat whatever I wanted, I missed being able to eat when I wanted, it was just, it was horrible. Um, obviously, eat soft foods, that's, I know that's obviously, I've said that before, but eat soft foods, that will help you. Um, it'll, it's, it'll really help to begin with, and then you can obviously build yourself up. Adhesive, use adhesive for your top and bottom, just do it, but you might have to look around and try different ones. I am on my fourth different one, but this one, my, like my fourth different type of adhesive, but this one seems to really work well for me. Um, it's just, it's really good. But everyone will be different, so I'm not even going to tell you what one I use because it's not going to be for everyone. It's just obviously just keep trying different ones and once you get one you like, stick to it. 
and just don't worry don't worry about having dentures don't worry about anything just be happy you've got them you've got them now you can smile you can be happy you can show everybody what you're really like you don't have to worry about trying to hide yourself anymore it's just it's like i'm so proud of how far i've come and if i can do it then anyone can do it because i was the biggest shit bag to begin with when it came to going to the dentist which is why i ended up in this position and now look at me i'm so happy i have the teeth i want i think anyone should be anyone should be able to experience that anyone should be able to be happy and not worry anybody should be able to have a nice set of teeth and not be judged for what they have it's just yeah so yeah so this is my uh, last video well probably not my last video but this will be probably be my first video this week i might have another one up later it just depends um, I do have, obviously I said I have a few ideas on my next few videos, but yeah, so until next time, goodbye. One more thing before I go, um, if you haven't already, you should go subscribe to Spy Dollars. Um, I'll put her name up here right now so you can see it, and I'll leave her YouTube channel in my description box. Um, she's got a lot more experience than me anyway, so you should really be watching her channel as well as mine. Um, because she'll be able to give you a lot more information. She's tried so many more things than me. Um, she gave me some good advice earlier. I was messaging her. Um, she said she's she's like one. She's gonna give me a little shout out to her her channel followers. So I'll be able to hopefully get something out of that because that would help my channel out. Um, but yeah, you really need to go and see this girl because she's tried so many different types of dentures. She's tried so many different things. She just, she has a lot more information than me and she's so nice as well. She's so down to earth. I watch her videos. You should really watch them too. So yeah, so that's that. So until my next video, goodbye.